Hello folks, welcome along to another video from Gondog and Fly, Mila Falter Roif. And in this video I have some nice little bits of fishing filmed for you and um, caught one really nice fish recently and uh, I have um, some nice video of that fish filmed with my new GoPro Hero 10. Uh, I think the quality on it is quite good so I hope you enjoy that but before we get into that I just want to talk to you uh, briefly about waders. Now I've been using waders for many many years various different um, manufacturers uh, I, I remember fishing in well, they're still available I've no doubt uh, the neoprene waders when they first came out they were a great innovation back in the 80s they cost an arm and a leg at the time but they were very very poor in terms of keeping out water they leaked consistently and uh, as I always said you you were wet whether you wore them or not and with the innovation then, the new innovations with the Gore-Tex waders and all that, I've had a lot of different makes and all of them have been problematic, consistently leaking. Some of them were better than others but none of them were in any way consistent in keeping out water in the longer term. What I mean by the longer term, I've never had a pair of waders that lasted more than a season without leaking. And last season, I decided that I was fed up with this and that I was going to go to what I consider considerable expense buying a pair of waders. And I did a bit of research online and stuff like that. And I decided to buy Sims G3s, which were highly recommended by a lot of people online and that. And they said that they had had them for a number of seasons and they hadn't leaked. So I went to the expense of buying a pair of g3s and lo and behold i have found that they are much like any of the others that i paid an awful lot less for here they are here I'll show you now i've worn these approximately this is an approximation i'd say maximum 30 times but probably more accurately maybe 20 to 25 times in total these are my attempts at repairs these are all all these little black patches are holes seams um, this leg the same all holes all over the place um, they're like a sieve basically now I would have expected better performance given that I was led to believe that they were superior quality and all the rest of it but Obviously they're not. I tried. The seams started to fall off as well and I made efforts to repair them as well. So effectively they are as useless as any of the rest of them that I've ever worn. Now you may have the same waders and probably you may have had a different experience. But in the, in the places I fish, I go to places for the most part which are relatively tough to access. Most people won't go there because you have to you have to negotiate obstacles and go through um, high grass and thistles and that kind of stuff and it's the countryside basically it's the riverbank but like these waders are designed supposedly for the riverbank and are supposed to be tough enough to be able to take that but they're not it's evident that they're not now um, I have again gone out and spent considerable money on a new pair of waders and this is them here brand new out of the box these are Orvis Pros now the reason I bought these is a friend of mine who actually appears in this video later on, Mick. Mick fishes where I fish. He fishes a lot with me and he's had a pair of these for more than, or maybe most of last season and uh, up to now in this season. So you could maybe call it a full season without leaks. So I'm going to let you know how I get along with these. Um, I don't hold out any great hopes to be honest about it because none of them seem to live up to the hype. They're all problematic. So anyway, I'd be interested to hear your um, experience with waders. All I know is that they're very expensive and uh, really and honestly, in my opinion, they're a total rip-off. They're just completely outrageously priced for what they are. Anyway, that's my little rant about waders. 
and now I'm going to um, show you the little bit of fishing video I have and I hope you enjoy that and that's coming right after this. Out there now. See him again. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 Whatever you do, don't lift it before it goes past yeah, them because I can see it. if you see a rise, lift. Right, yeah. See the wind is blowing it out to the right. That's good. It's dragging a bit, I think. Could be an You don't know, Tom. It's hard to know until you're hooking. No, he could be moved, you see. He, I think he went up a bit, didn't he? He's gone up a bit yeah, further. That's what I think, anyway. Yeah. See, it keeps blowing out to the right, and he's closer in to the left. A few flies, yeah. See, it's blown out to the right again. Yeah. Really? That's better. I think he might be still there. Yeah. Come on, Tom. Turn him out that way. Right. <laughs> you hooked him anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Good man. They're taking spinners, see the way they're rising, mm -hmm. real gentle. Oh. Broke on me, look. No, he didn't break, no, he didn't break. Look. He's gone around your leg. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Lovely fish, yeah. Not a bit, not really big, is it? Yeah, give him a second now, Tom. Give us a second. We'll do it one at a time. Oh, oh, there you are. 
Come on, Mick. <laughs> you want to fish? No, you walk away, boy. Drop it up there, start in front of the bush. Start in front of the bush and walk your way up yard by yard. Go on. Now we're out in the ice. Huh? Shall I wait for him to rise again? No, I'll drop it up there. Yeah, he'll, he'll take it. He'll take it. So, drop it a foot short. Now that could be him gone up. See the, see the fish above in the bulrushes? That could be him gone up, but it may not be. That's grand now. Now what you do is you push it out another yard. Pull off another yard of line and drop it up again. That might be him gone up, you see it above? There we are, there. You're dead on him now. No, you're right. There you go. Come on, mate. <laughs> oh, mate, bring him around. Bring him around. <laughs> Keep the pressure on. He's gone in around the bush, is he? Handy fish. <laughs> I mean, handy fish. He's a nice, lovely fish. Cross <laughs> 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 cast again. Yep. Beautiful. Send him downstream now. You're okay. I want to keep, he's going for him. In trouble now. Oh, hang on, he's coming back up.
Billy, have you now, boy? Taking a while. If I get him out, make try and take a couple of photos. If I get him out, but there's no guarantees yet. He's not in. He's not in the net as yet. He's getting tired now, though. Oh yeah. What a fish. Ah. No, I'm going to say I won't bring him out. I keep him in here. Whoa, fella! I get the fly out first now. Try and get the fly out without doing him any harm. Now we got him. Now, Mick. What a beauty, eh? All about there on this rock, full length. Now, what a fish, huh? Now we got to look after him, make sure he he's okay. Now, fella, steady up, steady on. He's a fish I hooked back in the Mayfly time. Here he goes. He's starting to recover now. Come on, fella. Come on, get your act together. Come on. I'm looking after you like a baby. Now, there he goes. He's fine. Woo! I think so. 